You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Pray without ceasing. I need you every day, every minute, every second, every hour. I just love you, Lord. The prayers of the righteous avail of much. Oh, Lord, I pray. Oh, Lord, I pray. Life you saved me. Went down into the grave and took away the key. You took away the thing of death and from my mother's womb. You knew me and for this was kept. Stay for the day for my ministry to take place. Isn't your loving arm that I'm always feeling safe? Day after day I fall away and I pray that I never lose faith. Amazing grace, no sweet to place. You stayed the rest. I'm saving face. Your love and praise can't be erased. I run this race, the path is straight. Changing, but I pray. Depression thought he had me, the devil trying to ground me, but I pray, I pray, I pray. Lord, I pray, I pray, Lord, I pray. For my city, praying for my family, Lord, I pray, I pray, I pray, Lord, I pray. World's constantly changing, but we got to pray. World's constantly changing, but we got to pray. Listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Your grace, it extends to me every day. Brand new mercies I see when I wake. With my eyes on the sun, I will stand and proclaim that darkness soon will fade. In times of trouble, you are my help. You are God with us, God with us. I call you Jesus, Emmanuel.
Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double XI. Positive Power 21.org Internet Radio You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. What's up, family? Positive Power 21. Christian Media on Late Night Radio. What's up, what's up, family? Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. All right. Got it. We hope you had a super Monday. I know it's hard. You all be struggling. All right, everybody, we're going to have a great show, great show tonight. That's right. We're promoting Blackout. Blackout Live is coming. Blackout Live is coming, right? Shea Samuels, you tell them. You tell them, Shea Samuels, Blackout Live is coming. All right, y'all, welcome to Late Night Radio. Awesome show. We got Christian rapper Nicholas Williams, a.k.a. Golden Child, 817905. Jay Praise, his partner. He may not be here, but we hope he'll be able to dial in. We also got Claretta Haddon. You know her, the sibling of superstar gospel artist Dietrich Haddon. She's going to be here to share her beautiful music. That's right. Woo! We got Pray. That's right. By Nicholas Williams. Christian superstar hip-hop rapper. It's here on Positive Power, Double XI Christian Media. And also my partner in crime, Robot. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. You tell them, Robot, you tuning in with AKA Batman Late Night Talk Radio. That's right. Worldwide, Jerry Royce Live. Kimmy Kim from Relation Radio is here. All right, let me lay down this prayer real quick. Everybody, get this show rolling. All right. Almighty God, I pray for my friends, my family, my neighbors, and my co-workers. I ask for you to bring healing to our bodies. I ask you to correct what needs correcting. Heal, heal that which needs healing. Touch what needs your divine touch. God, we ask you, would you give us a new season of vibrant health, energy, and enthusiasm. In Jesus' name I pray. All right, don't forget about the sponsors. You got to check them out. Total Life Changes. That's right, check out it. Lose five pounds in five days. Dot info. You know I lost four pounds in five days, so that was awesome. That's right. Plenty of water, some good supplements from Total Life Changes, a 16-year-old company. That's right. And Danette Hansen just jumped on board. I mean, Danette Watson just jumped on board with her home-based business with a great line of weight loss products. So check it out. Also, we got galas coming up. We're gonna talk about that later. We got three A's galas coming up. November 11th for, for Christian authors If you're interested You're in the North Carolina Columbia, North Carolina All right Go out there and check them out All right, Robot What you got to say, Robot? You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast Hit it, Robot Also on Saturday, January 20th, 2018 You got Empower Me Books Empower Me That's right EmpowerMeBooks.com Is having an awesome celebration Of their new book called Miracles Misfits the Miracles Revealed by Jessica A. Highsmith Penn Alex J. So contact her at EmpowerMeBooks.com. Again, that's kicking off Saturday, January 20th. If you're interested in being a vendor, she's going to be having a host of speakers and uh, other authors. It's going to be an awesome opportunity. You don't want to miss this. That's right. Inspiration and Empowering Books. And we're going to have some great people there. So come on out there and check it out, y'all. January 20th, EmpowerMeBooks.com. Don't forget about WealthDadSystem.com. You want to become a millionaire? You want to work your way into becoming a millionaire? Check out the, the seven videos. You, you got one to view, 
You know, if you like that one, you sign on. They will send you seven more, help you decide if this is something you want to do. That's right. A lot of us got retirement coming up. It's just not going to be enough money to live like we're living now. That's right. You're probably seeing a, maybe 40%. That's right. WealthDadSystem.com. All right, everybody. Let's get this show rolling. I appreciate all of you guys. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And welcome to Positive Power 21.org Christian Media. And you're listening to Late Night with Jerry Woods Live Worldwide. That's right, the Minister of Radio and my sidekick. They call her Kimmy Kim of Relation Radio and Magazine. That's right, it's awesome. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? 21, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm your host, Jerry Woods Live Worldwide. And I got one thing to say. We all need to be lifted up and encouraged at all times. The Bible is a great source for encouragement. The Bible is the living word of God, and it feeds us through the promise of God found in Scripture. That's right. My favorite scriptures are Philippians 4, 4, 7, and it reads, Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again. Rejoice and let everyone see that you are selfish and consider all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs and don't forget to thank Him for His answers. Because if you do this, you will experience God's peace, which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand His peace. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding with God your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. Let's do it. Jesus answered, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. The one who comes to me. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 11, 25, Jesus said to her, I'm the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? All right, y'all. It's time to praise the Lord. It's praise and worship time. Can you feel the power? All right, let's bring my girl. You got something to say, Robot? Robot got some new words, y'all. Tell him. You're listening to Positive Power 21. Christian Media on Late Night Radio. Kimmy Kim, Kimmy Kim, Kimmy Kim, can you hear me? What's up, Kimmy Kim? Kimmy Kim, you there? Can you hear Jerry Voice Live with what? Uh-oh, Kimmy Kim. Yes, I am here. I had myself on mute. <laughs> I knew you did. I was betting. How are you doing? I bet $500 you had yourself on me. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> And I was talking. <laughs> I know you were. I can see you. So how you doing? What's up? What's going I'm on? I'm great. How about you? We're doing good. We're doing good. Shout out to everybody. Everybody join us in the queue. They must have missed us over the weekend. Reggie Campbell just jumped in there. Chris Howard, Miguel. That's right. Superstar rapper Miguel. And we shout out to Lamar Thomas. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Positive Power. We good. We good. Um, Welcome. I've been I've been just laying back chilling. You know, we had death in the family. We had to we had to rest my my Sorry great my that. great aunt, beautiful spirited woman. It was just a shocker that this even happened. You know, she's just one of those people you always have on your mind. You know, we had lived a great childhood because mm-hmm. we we lived like a block from her, so we were always able to stop by because she had kids our age, so we were always over there. And um, it was it's just a shocker, man. She just lost her son last year, just a year from a week from wow. his death it was just a shock i know uh, so well, you're in my prayers my my friend thank you thank you thank you yeah it was, you know it family just you know sometimes you just don't know when the, when the lights go out you know you gotta be ready but we yeah. know she was ready though yeah yeah i got a chance to say a few words you know to the family for encouragement um, awesome. but you know, we had, we had a busy weekend too, right after that, you know, we, had, oh man, so many people was in town. Um, my wife had to go out of town, so she didn't make the, um, the services. So I had to, I had to take her to the airport Thursday, which I didn't know I had to, but not the airport. I had to drive all the way to DC to catch the train to Virginia. Then they were going to drive to um Hampton. So she was celebrating her, her line was celebrating. I think they were celebrating their 29th year, something like that. And, um, 
Mm-hmm. And then they had the homecoming. So homecoming. So I think their big celebration wow. is going to be this graduation. I think that's when they celebrate everything. So, um, so she was gone, and um, and then it was just me and the kids and the dog, and we was making it happen. And then, then we had her, one of her friends, her girlfriend, they came in from Houston. They had a real big party, ninety fifth birthday party for their mom, and my wife had just made it to that. She had just came back, flew in, made it to that party, and then um, from then on out, we had people in and out all day on Sunday. And I didn't get a chance to do no positive power. <laughs> I think Friday night was it. Uh, oh, also I did. Oh, yeah, you need a break sometimes. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Um, her and I actually walked in a uh, uh, a marathon, a walkathon for uh breast care awareness, breast cancer awareness. Amen. Yeah, I'm raising awesome. money for the cure. Yeah, that was awesome. There was a lot of people show. I forgot how many people showed up, but they raised right on the spot. They raised over three hundred thousand dollars. So um, it was a lot of people there. And it happened downtown, not downtown Baltimore, but it ha- happened in the area where out the Memorial Stadium used to be where the Baltimore coach used to play. So it happened down in that area. Okay. I forgot what they call that area. But it was beautiful. They really did a great job um, restoring that area after they took the stadium down. That sounds wonderful. Yeah. So you know, I love fun. hearing uh, wonderful fundraisers about breast cancer because that is personal. <laughs> yeah, that's right. A lot. Yeah, we lost um, a, a very dear close relative a few years ago, maybe three years ago, I think it was. And um, that was actually my daughter's godmother, a very close relative. And um, and she was going through it for a number of years, you know. Um, but she was, you know, she was hanging in there, you know, hanging in there. So, the, you know, the fight ended in, I think, like November 2014, I want to say. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. So you got to hang in there, everybody. You know, you're going to be losing people, you know, that's yeah. your age, maybe a little older. Sometimes when they like a little older, like in the 80s and 90s, you know. And then people are starting to do really well in their 90s. Like my father-in-law, he's like 92, about to turn 93. Um, no pain. He's still deal with some nerve pains. But other than that, you know, he's still getting around. He's not driving anymore, really, really in that, about three years ago. But, um, you know. And his cousins, they in their eighties, still functioning well, remember everything. So uh, I think it's about yeah. taking care of yourself. You know, if you do, if you are stricken with some kind of illness, you know, you got to step it up and just don't let the <laughs> let the bad stuff consume. You know, alcohol and overindulging and I guess anything is bad for you. Overeating, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fried food, yeah. That's it could right. just be simple as fried food. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, got to watch this. I had my one little tiny wing, and other than that, I was um, consuming salad, and I did good at the at the party, you know. <laughs> but then getting no cake. Oh, look at you! Oh, that's right. My wife did give me a half a slice of a cake. She gave me a taste. <laughs> you get a half slice. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna yeah, hinder like, you. <laughs> yeah, a little thin little half slice. <laughs> but we got a great show tonight. We got Christian rapper Nicholas Williams going to be here. And he's going to be here at nine thirty. And I saw the. Style. Yeah. Very impressive. That's right. Then we got yeah. Claretta Haddon's going to be here. You know, everybody, people probably know her. She has a song I call Zion Praise featuring her brother, Dietrich Haddon. So you guys know him, that superstar gospel artist. He's always um, traveling the world. Okay. Um, actually, we were trying to get him last yeah. year. He was almost here last year, but something that pulled him away. We ended up talking to uh, some people that work with him. So uh, that almost happened. Okay. So, um, you know, maybe we can make that happen again. I actually saw his agent. She was online um, preaching. She was throwing down, too. I was like, whoa, <laughs> go, Pastor. Yeah, wow. yeah. Said, wow, what a service. I'm glad I caught that, you know. Because I was, I was uh, man, I mean, it was funny. You train all your life or train, train, train. I, I had actually done, I had walked six miles on Saturday. Six miles. It was crazy. And I kind of forgot that I had the the thing that in the morning. You know, which was like four miles. By the time you leave your car and park and, and look where you need to be and then do the race and come back, that was like four miles. It was 3.5 mile walk. But we ended, it was a beautiful landscape too. We walked around a man made lake. I guess they call it a reservoir. I think they call it Montebello Lake. Yeah. Beautiful area. And uh, so it was very tranquil, you know, even though you had all the people in the pink and everything, it was just very. 
you know, it was a very comfortable walk. My wife doesn't walk that fast. I had to really, like, push myself to walk up pace, which was more tiresome to me, which I told her I'm not used to taking an hour to walk 3.5. I said, it's gonna, probably going to be more draining. And I was right. Because <laughs> I thought we'd been done, you know, like 20 minutes ago by the time we finished. But, you know, it's what it is. So, I, you know, she told me stay, hang out with her. And I did. So what was exciting for you, Kimmy Kim? We got a couple more minutes before we bring Mr. Nicholas out, a.k.a. Golden Chow. So what's up with you? What's going on in your neck of the woods? Uh-oh. Did she drop? Wait a minute. Oh, did I lose that call? No, oh, I must have lost that call. Let me get back to her. Yep, Kimmy Kim call drop. All right, she'll be dialing back in shortly. So meanwhile, y'all, let's just go ahead and play a song. We got Nicholas coming up real quick. So we're going to go ahead and play his song and we have a chance to talk to him about it and um, get a chance to talk to him. So here we go. This is called Golden Child 817905 and J Praise. This one is called Pray. Pray without ceasing. I need you every day, every minute, every second, every hour. I just love you, Lord. The prayers of the righteous avail of much. Oh, Lord, I pray. 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 When it looks my life you saved me went down into the grave and took away the key you took away the thing of death and from my mother's womb you knew me and for this was scared save for the day for my ministry to take place isn't your loving arm that i'm always feeling safe day after day i fall away and i pray that i never lose faith amazing grace no sweet in place you stay the rich i'm saving face your love's embrace can't be erased i run this race the path is straight Oh, 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 so many people dying, too many mothers crying, but I pray, I pray. No more present school, the world is constantly changing, but I pray. Depression thought he had me, the devil trying to grab me, but I pray, I pray, I pray. Lord, I pray, I pray, Lord, I pray, praying for my city, praying for my family, Lord, I pray, I pray, I pray, Lord, I pray. World's constantly changing, but we got to pray. World's constantly changing, but we got to pray. We got to pray. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double XI. Positive Power 21.org Internet Radio You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. All right, let's talk about this guy called himself Golden Child 817905. 
All right, it's Bio Rees, independent artist, instrumental producer from St. Augustine, Florida. All right, from, from St. Augustine, Florida, born and raised in the nation's oldest city. He's the CEO of Golden Child 817905 Productions since 2017. Starting, starting learning to play musical instruments at the age of eight years old. Beginning stages of music was a chorus environment consistent of recorders, xylophones, wind chimes, bongos, congos, etc. Also learned to play drums at the age of 15 at church. Began composing instrumentals on a keyboard at age 19, and he, where he learned how to play fluently. At age 25, he began instrumentals on computer programs after taking a number of years off. Had been, um, been going strong for the past years. And he said, music is his passion, God is his external judge, and he was born again believer and minister of the gospel. He had chosen to use his gifts in the effort to reach the younger generations as well as my peers. He had been a minister of gospel since the age of 26 and have had opportunities in the past years to do outreach. That's right, he did a lot of outreach out there in the area. He was all over the place. Florida, it was all over Florida. All right, this was Stuffed on Black History Month, youth program, you name it. He say, his quote is, though I've had many opportunities this year, I've been waiting on God to open doors financially that I may continue to promote my brand, which states motivation is not a hobby, but it's a lifestyle. He will continue to reach out to others in the effort of kingdom building, but also willing to participate in any positive endeavors. Continue to pray my strength to the Lord, and he'll do the same for you. All right, his hit single is called Pray. You can get him under social media sites like Twitter at Golden Child 8179. The name of his label is Golden Child 817905 Productions. All right, let's check and see if he's in the queue. So we can pull him up. Oh, he's not here yet. Kimmy Kim is here. All right, Kimmy Kim, we still we waiting on um Mr. Nichols. I mean Mr. Williams. Okay. So I just uh, hit him up, tell him to go ahead and dial in. So he's about to dial in shortly. So we read his bio. No We problem. heard his music. So now we're just waiting on him. So I was asking, what was you been Amen. up to? What you been up to uh, this weekend? You know, what's, what's positive? I know you had an event. I thought you had another event coming up. Uh, my event uh, would be on November the 18th from Pain to Purpose. And the main purpose of this wonderful event is to allow people to understand the true meaning of the holiday season is about um, the presence of the Lord and not receiving presence. And um, just wanted to be a blessing for those so they don't feel, you know, um, unhappy because they're unable to buy presents yeah. from people or receive presents. That's and right. the best gift that you could give anyone is Jesus. That's right. So, you know, it's more so like a deliverance mm. time. Wonderful speakers with wonderful uh, testimonies. And it would be awesome. Yeah, awesome. that's right. There's so, so many just things keep us in, in your prayer. Yeah, there's so many, um, you know, things going on these days. You know, where you know it's like people really gonna be in the mood for the holidays. Like you really gonna have to pump yourself up. I always say, you know, plan like small get-togethers with your family and friends. You know, everybody bring a dish over and just sit around and watch movies and listen to music. And there's so many nice app games you can play these days. You know. I just say, just, right. you know, you have to, it's not always about the gifts. And it's just to get together and join life with one another. Plus, everybody getting a little older now and people mm-hmm. moving out of town for jobs. Sometimes I say, just have a get together. Usually that's the time when people return home anyway, you know, for at least right. a week. You know, most of the time the holidays stretch well from Christmas Eve to uh, New Year's Day. Right. Open yeah. up your home. And yeah. Invite some friends and family over some yeah. neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. One of my neighbors. And you know what? Um, something like some good cooking too. You know, yeah. good cooking with family and friends. Yeah. Some, somebody can bring dessert. And, yeah. Somebody you know? can bring dessert. Somebody can bring a box of chocolate, some fruit. You know, you know, yeah. always have, not everybody can cook. So, you know, just find out what you can bring. Soft drinks, you know, anything. I just say it's the, it's the company, you know. And that's what we do a lot of. We try to do a lot yeah. of the uh, big things for the holiday. Um, cause sometimes you can't have everybody over at the same time, so we kind of try to split. You know, once you clean the house one time, you kind of good. To, you kind of good to go. <laughs> you know, just keep the bathrooms clean. That's true. All right, looks like my man is on the line. He said he is. I don't see him. Oh, I'm looking. Uh, I just, I just see you and I. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him back. 
He said he's trying to call. <laughs> and I, I tell people if you got T-Mobile and Metro PCS is not going to work. Let me let me. All right, tell you what. Let me go ahead. I got T-Mobile. It's it'll work it. They just charge you. Come on. Oh, so you pay? So We're you pay the call? So you pay the call? Yes. Yeah. It's oh. one cent. Yeah, it's one cent per minute. One you work. Minute. Oh, it's one cent a minute. Oh, that's not bad. Because some people tell me they can't get in at all. Yeah, let me make sure he got the right number. Yeah. He may not have the right right number. Who knows what number I gave him. Yeah. And You're worth hit, 60 cents. Come on. Pan. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> Kim. <laughs> You're worth more than that, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Tell you what, let's go ahead and play it's this song. It's one cent per minute. I'm going to hit a song up and I'm going to check what system he got real quick. So we're going to listen to this beautiful song by Reggie Campbell called It Was Your Love. Okay? I'll be right back, okay. y'all. Let me try to get, get uh, Mr. Williams straight. It was your love that lifted me your love that lifted me, your love that lifted me, your love that lifted me, when I couldn't take it, when I couldn't make it, oh, when I can take it, yeah. When I can make it, oh, 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 what love, yeah, what peace, yes, what joy he gives, oh, yes. I was thinking. Deep in sin For from the peaceful Sure Very deeply Stay with me Master of the sea heard my despairing cry from the waters, he lived at me.
Just talk to Mr. Williams. He's going to be dialing in on my phone. So, meanwhile, we'll catch another tune while he's dialing in. We're going to listen to one one of my favorite artists. And we're going to pro- hope, I'm hoping to see her not at the Spin Awards, but hope to see her in Atlanta. I'm talking to my manager now as we speak to try to hook up with them between nine o'clock and showtime. Because we're going to be in Atlanta until the show don't start till six. So, I'm hoping I can be able to catch up with some people prior to the spin awards which is this saturday so i'm talking about riri that's right this listen to this one right here is called in the middle of it one of my favorites well all her songs are awesome you are listening to jerry Royce live worldwide podcast it's fine it's back in there i know you put it back in there honey Didn't know I would find my way Seemed like all that I had was gone Tell me how to move on Then you decided faith for me Took me into destiny
Worldwide Podcast. All right, thanks, Robot. I think we got Mr. Williams connected now, so we're going to try it again. So let me get Kimmy Kim back. All right, Kimmy Kim, you're here, right? I am here. All right, hold tight. Let me see if I get Mr. Williams. All right, Mr. Williams, you connected. Can you hear me? This Jerry was live worldwide. Yes, sir. I can hear you. How you doing, brother? Good, man. Sorry about that, bro. I always try to warn people that T-Mobile will either charge you or you got to contact a technician or something like that to make it happen. But usually I just tell people just to call me and I can connect them. So we apologize for that. So um, anyway, man, we got a couple minutes before our next guest comes on because we got to stay within our, within our uh, time because, you know, we are sending shows out to radio stations, time slots. So uh, real quick, man, just tell us a little bit about your background, man. And we read your bio early in the show, about <laughs> about 930. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. Who is Mr. Williams, the one that called himself Golden Child? Well, I'm a um, Christian hip-hop artist. Um, born and raised in the nation's older city, St. Augustine, Florida. And um, I started playing music when I was about eight years old. And then started making instrumentals when I was around 19, before, then at 20, 24, I kind of um, grew up a little bit and began composing um, instrumentals and uh, computer programs. And a lot of my my friends and family, they're like, hey, man, you kind of got something going, man. You might need to do something with it. So I started you know, rapping and things like that, but everything kind of fell apart, you know. And I um, started going through some things in my life, and I was I started praying to God, trying to figure out why was everything, you know, going wrong, going haywire. Mm-hmm. And I and I felt the call up on my life, and so I went and talked to my pastor. He was like, "Hey, man, God is He's calling you for greater. And right. the longer you run, you know, the more things are gonna, you know, go away in your life, and you ain't gonna have no peace. So, you know, I turned everything over to God, and you know, um, rededicated my life, and. Things went crazy for like oh man some some years. Wow! And I and I started questioning God, asking God, you know, God, I'm doing everything that I can. You know, I'm trying to do the best that I can. I'm trying to do Your will. I'm trying to, you know, support other people. I'm, you know, just trying to do something positive with my life. Why is everything going crazy? And He spoke to me and let me know that you know, you know, all things are working yeah. for my good. Mm. And a lot of times we hear that and we don't really understand it until, you know, our change comes. And, you know, this is a season in my life where I feel like my change is coming. You know, things are um, starting to get on track. And uh, two years ago, I started doing Christian hip hop. And um, my first single was uh, called Why Me? And I did a lot of outreaches in the Duval area. Mm-hmm. Uh, we take it to the hill productions and um i did a couple of other events i uh did a event at white Sh- springs at a soul food fest last year and a unity day event at st augustine last year and on this year i did the same um two events but on last year after the uh unity day event i was talking to my cousin jay praise and I, I told him that I felt like we needed to do some work, you know, together since he's a um, a praise and worship um, leader at his church. And so a couple of months ago, you know, we kind of revisited the the um, conversation that we had a year ago and we felt like it was time. And so we kind of just... Um, went over some ideas and he gave me the tune to the song. And so I just, you know, I was like, all right, I'm gonna call you back in, in a little bit. Mm-hmm. So, um, I went into the lab, um, start, um, uh, composing the instrument based on his melodies. And then when I seen the bad tune, he was like, yeah, man, I love it or whatever. And so we decided that we were going to try to, um, piece together, you know, um, the Christian hip hop and worship song. And 
after we had finished it, we was like, yeah, I think, you know, God, he's going to be pleased with this or whatever. And so um, we went ahead, we dropped the song, um, then scheduled to have a video do a video done, and which was um, recorded by Deshaun Kirkland out of Jacksonville, Florida. And we've been getting a lot of positive feedback on it. We just, yeah, you know, we like thank that. God uh, for inspiring us to do um, such a piece together, trying to bring Christian hip hop and worship um, together in our area because it's something that, you know, we knew that people weren't accustomed to mm-hmm. and we weren't sure how people were going to take it. But we we feel like it's a bridge, a gap that needed to be bridged. That's right. That's you know true. what I mean? Because I think um, sometimes we forget, like, that people come from all walks of life and everybody, you know, they receive God differently. That's right. That's true. Like, some people receive him from, like, hearing the preach words. Some might receive him from, you know, hearing the choir sing. Um, somebody might hear that deacon, you know, down on his knees praying in the spirit moves on them. And some people don't find them until they find themselves incarcerated. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. You know, walking a, a, a life of, you know, trying to be something that, you know, God hasn't called them to be. And so, you know, Christian hip hop has, has been a platform that I aim at. Because we had so many young people, like, you know, just seeing, like, just they didn't really care. You know, and so, and so many young people, they listen to the secular rap, and you hear them singing it all the time, trying to be the images that they see on TV. And, you know, I pray to ask God, you know, let me be a light, you know what I'm saying, that can, you know, walk a different, you know, um, in a different way, you know, in the same way so that they can see, you know, you don't have to listen to certain music and pull out, you know, about, you know, sex and drugs and, you know, trying to make money um, from hustling and things like that. You know, there's other avenues that you can have. Yes, and the main thing is, you know, we have to have a, a, a heart of prayer. That's right. You know That's what right. I mean? Um, I was born and raised in the church, and I still, you know what I'm saying, walked away after some time after I, I had got older and realized that I can do what I wanted to do. That's right. And that's something that, you know, I had started recognizing um, in a lot of the youth. You know, I worked in juvenile justice um, for about seven years. I worked in like four different um, facilities, and a lot of what I would hear um, the younger guys say is, you know, why should I try to change when I'm going back to the same environment? That's right. You know, that there was an environment where people were born into gangs. You know, their daddy was a gang member, maybe their grandparent was a gang uh grandparent was a gang member, their mom, their uncles, and so that's all that they knew. And so trying to talk them into change was really like something that was an inevitable feat. You know what I mean? Because they didn't see no way of change. That's right. But I just thank God that he's giving me, God giving me an opportunity to, you know, speak something positive in their life. And know, you know, I was born half of my life in the closet. You know what I mean? So I know what it's like to feel like, you know, right. there is no real opportunity. Mm-hmm. You know, Maybe. the only things that it is for you to do is to hustle. You know, the only thing it is to do is to, you know, have all the girls or go out and party. But, you know, once you start getting older, you realize that life is about more than that. It's about, you know, making mm-hmm. um, known lasting relationships with people that can help you and that you can help to, you know, make better lives for each other. And, you know, I thank God for this. Um, platform also that allows me to just, you know, try to encourage and motivate people, you know, in all walks of life. To just, you know, always look for the best in every situation. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's not going to always be easy. Times are going to be hard. Times are going to get rough. You're going to have people that they seem like always find something negative in what you do. You're going to find those times where you feel like family members and friends aren't supportive. And, you know, but God sends those people in your life to help you to be elevated to the next level. And that you That's should right. just focus on that. That's right. You know what I mean? Amen. We all go through similar struggles at different times in life. And I think the struggles that we go through are meant to help somebody else. It's not even all of, always about us. And that's what I try to, you know, um, relate through my music. You know, taking um, life uh, circumstances that I've dealt with in the past and what I may foresee in the future, and then a, a faith-built background, mm-hmm. being brought up in a church, you know, prayer has been the key. That's right. You know, the, the world is a, is a sustainer, but, you know, we can't always reach down and pick up a Bible. That's right. That's you know right. what I mean? Sometimes we have to, you know, meditate on what has been uh, put into our heart. You know that every, just calling on God's name, you know, calling on the name of Jesus, he'll be there. That's right. You know that's what right. I mean? Sometimes that's all they say, just Lord help me. That's right. And, and so prayer, the song Pray, the little thing about saying, uh, What's going on in the world right now? We need prayer more than ever. Tell you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, like more than ever. We got mm-hmm. natural disasters going on all over the place. You know, we got uh, hurricanes like never before coming from every which way. We got fires out west. You know, we got a president that seems like he really doesn't know what he's doing. And it seems like a race war is brewing. We got you know, just countries, you know, just going through war. So the things that the Bible speaks about in the end time, they're right here. There is like right now. And so if we don't pray, you know what I'm saying? All is going to be lost. Things aren't going to get better. And, and I really do believe that in my heart. But as, as Christians and born again believers in Christ, the way that we perceive what's going on, will help us. It will aid us in, you know, moving forward. And it, and it, our prayer, uh, prayer life is our open line of communication with God. You know what I mean? So we, we got to pray, bro. And I just thank God for shows like the one that you have that gives artists the opportunity, you know, to let their light shine mm-hmm. in their own way. It, yeah, it's God, truly it's a good. blessing. Yeah. And I applaud you for the work that you're doing, yeah, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. I mean, we appreciate yeah, your I music, too. Man. artist on all the time, and I'm like, dang, man, this boy, he's pushing. And it's good to see brothers and sisters out mm-hmm. doing something positive, you know, breathing something positive with so much other negative stuff mm-hmm. being broadcasted in the media. Right. So, you know, congratulations to to you, bro. Oh, thank you, sir. And I pray that God continue to shine his light upon you. Amen. We sorry that we um, we couldn't get you in, you know, your entire interview because of the phone system. But this is what we're gonna do, Nick. You know, we run a midnight show, so we can have you come back and be part of our midnight countdown, man, on Friday nights. You know, if, you, if work is not, you know, messing you up, so uh, we'll try to schedule you to come back. All right. So uh, what we got to do now? Okay. Give everybody your contact information so they can know where to find. Because I love your video, man, and that song "Pray" is awesome. So give them your Twitter account. Facebook information and um, if you got a website available. Okay. Um, my Facebook account is um, at Golden Child 817905 and also um, at Golden Child 817905 uh, Productions, which is my um, regular label fan page. And I'm also on Twitter. Um, Nicholas Williams or at Golden Child 8179. I'm available on number one music.com at Nicholas Williams, aka Golden Child 817905, and also on Instagram at um, N Williams 817905. 
All right. And I'm dropping his information inside the, the information on uh, Facebook Live so people can hit you up on Twitter. And um, we appreciate you coming, man. Sorry about the phone system tied up. And because everybody seen it, you know, been going towards T-Mobile. And I don't know why they made it so that they had to charge them. It's weird. So anyway, uh, we will try to make a rent to get you back on our Midnight Quiet Storm production. And um, and uh, we wish you the best. All right. And we and thank you for sending that song to us. Pray, man. Definitely made the, play, the uh, playlist. All right. All right. Appreciate yeah. it, bro. You're and I welcome. thank you for the opportunity. You're welcome. God bless you. All right, everybody, that was, the, he called himself Nick, Nicholas Williams, also Golden Chow. You can catch him at Golden Chow 8, what did he say? It was 80, hold on a second, I don't want to try to memorize it, 8179 Twitter. It's Golden Chow 8179 Twitter. You can hit him up. His label is Golden Chow 817905 Productions. Go out there and Google Pray under uh, Golden Child, and you'll find his Prey video, which is a very nice production. And, and I do like that song, Prey. Definitely made that playlist for sure. Always looking for more Christian rappers. All right, guys, we gonna we got um, Claretta. Claretta Hatton is coming up, and we're going to play her song called God With Us. She's coming up next with me and Kimmy Kim. So hang in there, Kimmy Kim. We'll be right back. And this is a brand new single by Claretta Hatton. Here we go. Your grace, it extends to me every day. Brand new mercies I see when I wake. With my eyes on the sun, I will stand and proclaim that darkness soon will fade. In times of trouble, you are my head. You are God with us, God with us. I call you Jesus, Emmanuel. You are God with us, God with us. All together, your grace, it extends to me every day. Brand new word, see I see. When I wake With my eyes on the sun I will stand and proclaim That darkness soon will fade So I pray oh, Your Jesus, Jesus 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 You are God You are In times of trouble
All right. That is so beautiful. <laughs> Clarita Hatton. Beautiful song. That one is called God With Us. And thank you for joining us right here. Hey, Positive Power, Double XI Christian Media. And we apologize with that interview with uh, Mr. Nicholson Williams. We had a problem getting him connected. But, uh, of course, my phone had to freeze up. And it <laughs> cost another five minutes. So anyway, we will have him back. Um, he had an awesome testimony. And uh, we want to give that brother an opportunity to uh, talk about more about his production and how God is leading him down his journey. His, I mean, it sounds like he has a lot, of, a lot of testimony, a lot of journey going on right now. All right, we've been joined by... My friend, Elations Radio, Miss Robinson from from the magazine and the radio station, Elations. What's going on, Kimmy? You still hanging in there with me? I am. All right, good and it's for you. fun hanging with you. How about that? That's right, the Batman. All right, let's talk about about Miss um, Clarita real quick. Let's 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 talk about her. Let's her, we got her bio right here. All right, Clarita is an emerging gospel artist with a rock infused urban energy artistry who is innovatively delivering her unique worship music sound. Her rock and her check hair and cheek hair and clothes, Clarita isn't necessarily what a Christian or gospel artist typically looks like. But for her, it has nothing to do with her unwavering unwavering faith or delivering the living word and gospel of Christ to the masses. Clarita has proven that her ability to write, produce, and act are just much a part of her artistic expression as her singing. People have witnessed her live performances boast of her amazing stage presence, admitting that talent like hers only comes once in a lifetime. This rising star delivered evidence of this in her electrified audiences during her performance at the 30th, 30th Stella Awards show in Las Vegas. In via, she shared the stage with her brother, Dietrich Haddon, and LXW. All right, let's bring on let her tell us tell the rest of her story. All right, it was well written. <laughs> I got to say that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give her some hand claps since she's a superstar. What's up, Miss Haddon? How you doing? Welcome to Positive Power Double XI. How you feeling? I guess she's here. I got a, a mic is open. Miss Clarita, you there? Hey, how you guys doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. How you doing? Welcome to Positive Power. What's oh, going on? I'm doing well. How about you guys? Awesome. I'm joined with Kimmy Kim from Relations Radio. She's going to help with the interview if you don't mind. All right? Oh, I don't mind. I'll, I'm ready to have a good time. All right. So the first Amen. question is, who is Clarita Had- Haddon? Who is she? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, a lady with a lot of hats. <laughs> uh, but uh, the best thing I could say about me is I should say that I'm a willing vessel. Um, and a willing vessel is willing to do whatever God has called you to do. So that that puts me in a lot of hats. But my favorite thing to do is uh, a wife and a mother. Right. And uh, after that, I'm baby sister, I'm big sister, I'm pastor, I'm I don't know, writer, singer, actress, <laughs> author, a whole lot of things. But um, it, it's the most important thing in my life is my family. That's right. God is good. Amen. All right. Kimmy Kim, you got a question for Miss Hatton? I do. I see that you are a willing vessel. And uh, unfortunately, we, you know, tend to sometimes um, stare away from that willing vessel. What brought you to that? conclusion that you're a willing vessel for the Lord. Well, what really brought me to that is that I I realized that I had so many gifts and I have so many things that I'm passionate about. And, you know, a lot of times people want you to just stick with one thing, choose something and stick with it. Mm -hmm. But when you have so many gifts and so many abilities, you have to realize that you don't necessarily fit in the box that everybody else wants you to fit in. You don't fit in that a criteria where everybody says, if you're an artist, you have to choose this type of artist, or if you're this or that, you have to choose. And I just, I refuse to just choose because I have too much. It's like the man in, in the scriptures who was given more than one talent, and and he has to use those talents instead of bury them. I refuse to bury anything that I have All to right. try to fit into a box. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All right, now you're preaching <laughs> up in here. Okay. She sure is. <laughs> 
Amen. And I'm, and I'm glad you Amen. said that because I'm, I'm kind of in that same boat too. You, you know, you feel like sometimes you, when you wear so many hats, you're not going to do everything well. But I feel like God has armed you with so much. Do you feel that way sometimes when people start challenging you that you're doing too much and you need to slow down? I mean, are you hearing that right now? Absolutely. And I refuse. Uh, I, I know, you know, people, people will tell you real quick, um, well, if you don't choose something that you're going to fail at everything. But mm. I... I understand that as long as you have the right amount of focus, you can you can actually pr- prosper as long as you pursue whatever you want because you have the help of God. Where people get it wrong is that they don't have the help of God with them. So they're trying to do it in their own power and their own strength. I have backup. That's what makes me different. Mm-hmm. Amen. Thank you. Amen. All right. <laughs> mm, I'm scared as what that backup is. I, I already know, know though. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, Amen. <laughs> wow. See? That's a preaching moment. <laughs> I know it happens. Uh, it's so easy. I just I just start preaching all the time. I, I just uh, <laughs> uh, once I gotta stick with the format. <laughs> you just preach at all times. You know you can't even, know, right? you can't talk about food without preaching. That's right. I know, right? Mm. Mm. Don't, don't mention that. Stuff. Yeah, don't mention mm. that. All right, Kim, you got another question for? Well, I was going to ask her what was that um, that helped her, but I have a strong feeling I know what it is, but I'm going to ask her anyway. <laughs> My right. sister, what is helping you with your multiple hats? How do you keep yourself? Absolutely. Well, uh, including the grace of God, the favor of God. Mm. He also uh, blessed me with a man of God, which is my husband, Tony Jackson. Amen. Helps me keep balance in everything that I do. So uh, when I get a little weary, a bit, a little tired, a little stressed out, he's right there as my partner in Mm -hmm. not crime, but power and strength and anointing. (laughs) Amen. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) <laughs> now, um, now, everybody, we know you, you know, powerful vocals, electrifying stage performances. Tell us a little bit about your, your the t- TV, movies, stage plays. W- what are you going after first for your acting career? Where can we find you? Oh, my gosh. Um, you know, stage plays are really fun for me because I get to do different things in different shows and I'm, I'm not stuck in one character. Um, but right now I have been working on a few little things. I have a television show called The Room where I actually open the door for other artists to be able to um, share their talents. It's really for unsigned artists. It's, you know how the Bible tells you that your gifts will make room for you? Mm-hmm. Uh, I just believe that I'm one of those vessels who helps give other people room uh, to be able to share their talent. So I have like an independent platform for independent artists. And I love shooting that show because it gives independent artists opportunity to not only to share their ministry, but to perform and minister in whatever song or gift they have. That's one of my favorite things amongst so many others. Um, <laughs> right now auditioning for things and just waiting to see what the Lord's going to do. That's right. Hey, man, well, you're in the right location because you're, you're out in California, correct? Are you in Hollywood? Or? Yes. I have been in California for six months now, and I love it. <laughs> so don't rub it, it in now. It's cold here. Oh, yeah, it's getting chilly here. It's getting so chilly. You know what I don't love is how hot it is right now in, what is this, October? Um, we woke up to 103 degrees. Wow. I was not expecting that, especially wow. coming from Michigan, right in the heart of the city, living right downtown. Oh my gosh! In Detroit right now, it's like sixty. And then yes. my parents call me today. They go, "What's the weather?" I'm like, uh, "103," and I'm melting. Oh god! <laughs> so, are you thinking about making it your home, or just until something big happens for you? Oh, absolutely! I don't think I would want to leave here. If I leave here, it literally has to be because there's something so big somewhere else. <laughs> I don't even think you know. I'm gonna t- I'm be honest. I think I'm going to miss snow for Christmas. So I may go and visit. I don't think it's going to be right to have uh, lights on a palm tree. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Well, I'll take it. (laughs) I'll take it. I had enough of snow in my lifetime. That's right. Enough. All right, Kim, you have another question question for? Yes. Um, How has the transitioning been from Michigan to California? What is 
the major differences that you find there when it, when you're comparing it to your hometown? To be honest, it does not compare. It is its own mm. place. I mean, there's nothing <laughs> to compare. Detroit is Detroit and California. I know, I know. You cannot <laughs> even compare the two. It's like comparing. No, you know I'm hating. I had to rub that in. I was like, it has to. Be. <laughs> mm. I'm hating. Wow. You can't compare snow or ice and fire. It just don't go together. <laughs> They're <laughs> opposites. That's right. See, Terry, she rubbing it in on us. We need to move to California. I know. We'll be out there soon. (laughs) That's right. Next year. Oh, I do apologize. It's definitely not my goal to... Oh, no. I'll just mess with you. I like to have fun, too. (laughs) But I I love California. It's just so busy. Oh, Lord. But I love the young people. And and you know what? I I never thought I would live... um, in a busy, busy place. Because even in Michigan, I always live in the suburb. And, and we went to church in the city. You know, my parents lived in the mm-hmm. city. But I just couldn't wrap my mind around living in the city. So when I thought, oh, okay, I'm going to move to California, I just knew I was going to be in a suburb area and was blessed with a condo right in the middle of downtown Long wow. Beach, literally one block from the ocean. So I'm like, in the middle of everything. I never thought I would enjoy. <laughs> That's downtown. amazing. You get to see I, I absolutely love it. I don't think I could ever imagine life without living downtown by the water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's amazing. amazing. It is. Mm. But I'm reading your bio and you have so much going on in this bio. It's like incredible. I mean, you're talking about soundtracks for films. Are you, are you currently working on a film project right now for a soundtrack for a film project or is it done already? It's been completed. That has been, you know what? Now, sometimes I talk about that and sometimes I don't because some people get a little offended by that work. Um, so it just depends on <laughs> <laughs> where I am and who I'm dealing with because I was able to be on a soundtrack um, for the Fast Five movie. Oh, wow. With my He produced five songs on uh, an Eminem album. And, w- and when that happened, it blessed us to be able to uh, be on the soundtrack of Fast Five. And we did a song with Ludacris. Mm. So it's like, do you really want to know that side? <laughs> I don't know. It depends on where we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you okay. You have to be real. Hey, if you got talent, yeah. you got talent. That's Who right. can judge? That's right. Nobody can yeah. have the right so to judge. It, you know, I'm proud of you, my sister. Actually, to share, it was an yeah. opportunity to share my faith. It was an opportunity to get to meet these artists. Mm. And the first thing they asked me was, oh, well, why don't you drink? Or why don't you do this? Or why don't you? I said, well, you know, to be honest, uh wow. You might not know it, but I'm a I'm a minister. I'm a pastor's wife. I'm a woman of God, and I just so happen to sing hooks. <laughs> so, <what? laughs> and but guess what? This is how cool you are. My pastor was just teaching on uh, safe folks tend to hang around only safe folks. Well, how many people can you hang around unsaved and remain mm-hmm. safe? So right. you just got your tested. Mm-hmm. You just got tested. So you're yeah. good. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's something about characters. Some people are saved without character. Other people are saved with character. And I just happen to be one of those ones who understands that your character cannot dismantle because you're in a different, different arena or atmosphere. Mm-hmm. That is and what that makes you different and allows people to respect the God in you. So it gives me opportunity to just share my faith and show people that you can be saved and work in the arena. You don't ask people questions if they work at, at, at the no, no. I'm with or if they yeah. work at, at a, a pizza shop, you know, yeah. um, is your, is your boss saved? How can you work there and, and be saved too? Mm-hmm. So why would you ask me, how can I work in the studio and be saved? Unless you feel mm-hmm. like you can't keep your faith intact because where you work. That's right. Yeah. Come on. You're preaching. Uh, it's right. kind of hard, right? Oh, you got to tell it. <laughs> <laughs> I really believe that you should be able to hang anywhere that is not your throng. Throng. You know how some people, uh, like for me, I, I'm going to be honest, you know, club was my thorn. So I, I know if I go there, I will go back to the old camp. But other places I can go and still, you know, be me. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, you have to be able to uh, really relate not only to those who are in the church, but outside the walls. And you're doing a great job. Awesome. Amen. Also, you mentioned that you're an older <laughs> sister to somebody and an older sister to another sibling. So is that to Dietrich? You're talking about Dietrich? So you're older or younger to Dietrich? 
Oh, I'm a baby sister to Dietrich. <laughs> You're the baby sister. <laughs> uh oh. So he was, was a boss. A so he was a boss on the project because I'm I'm reading that you were working on a couple projects with him, not just Zion Praise, but I think you did something else with him too. Some other other soundtracks. Well, God with us. That single he actually wrote that, and of course, I, I every album. I think every album he's ever recorded, even when he went solo, I was always singing background. It, it may be one or two out of twenty that I was not on. Uh, because we've always sang together and worked together. So it's, it's been a blessing. I tell people this. If it were not for my brother, I would not be in music because I cut my musical teeth, my career teeth on his career. Uh, <laughs> at least you're honest. Yes. At least you're honest. So you think if it wasn't for him doing that, would you still be doing stage play? Because it sounds like you really have a love for sound stage, according to your bio. You got a production company, right? Oh, I love it, and I, I definitely would. But, but uh, to be all the way real, uh, my my other brother Gerald, him and his wife, and also Dietrich, when they they actually introduced me to plays, I oh. was so lost. I didn't really understand what all that. I was seeing them do it because I'm younger, mm-hmm. and I didn't even know how that worked. And they introduced me and took me to some stage plays and showed me the ropes. And next thing you know, I was in there doing it on my own and yeah. <laughs> wow. but my little wings and I was out of there. <laughs> well, you know, stage plays is huge in the Maryland area, especially Baltimore. Really big. Really? Oh, yes. The gospel community here, the Christian community loves stage plays. Even the, the, the no-name stage Stage playwriters do very well here, sell out performances. Once you get a little reputation, it spreads like wildfire. Mm. Yeah, so, so you guys got to wow. come out here. You got to come out here. Have to. Between Washington uh-huh. and Baltimore, you will be pleased, very pleased with the market here. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's awesome to know, and I will definitely get, look, make my way in that area. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you have to. All right, Kimmy, can we have one more question for before we have to get out of here? Unfortunately, we have to get out of here, but we have to I have know. a know. It would be so fast, my sister and Jerry. It's uh-huh. always a pleasure. But um, uh-huh. I love your spirit, and you you, you are um, definitely a Proverbs 3110. So um, my thing is, um, when it comes to music, who are some of your mentors? Ooh. Well... You know, it, it depends on if you're asking in in style, if you're talking about in uh, the way when it comes to music. writing and mm-hmm. how you um, present your music. What kind of style mm-hmm. do you would you relate to more so of, or someone who you look up to? Not oh. me, I love writing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 110 percent honest. I'm going to tell you, I absolutely admire Tina Turner. Mm. I watch her. I love Tina Turner, girl. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite. I, I love you some Tina. Her performances. I've been to her concerts because I just absolutely love her and a lot of my music does have undertones of her. So I would say Tina Turner and, you know, the real truth is in my head, she's my auntie. So yeah. I talk when I talk about her, I talk about Auntie Tina. And <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Love her. Mm. <laughs> Tina got me through some good stuff. Just give me my name. Right. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm, I'm, I'm having flashbacks now, so sorry about that. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Looking at her, you know, looking at Beyonce kind of reminds me a lot of Tina. Tina Turner. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Mm-hmm. I love yeah, her. I love her. So that's that's that would be my answer. Yeah. So, Clever, so you put a little bit, of, and I haven't seen your, your live performances, so you put a little bit of that, a lot of electrifying movements and mm. the, the, the band, the big band sound, all that goes into your performances, your stage performances? I tell you, I can get a little wild. Wow, we got to see you. absolutely enjoy every moment on the stage. I kind of disappear, though, and that's probably why it gets a little wild, because I I kind of lose myself and and just it's it's a spiritual thing really mm. because when I'm there it's like it's just me and God and nothing else really exists and you know the crowd is there but they're not there because I I'm somewhere else as soon as I start singing it's just like I'm somebody and something else it's, it's yeah. just about the anointing the gift that I have is I kind of disappear mm. that's powerful and I'm looking I'm so sorry Jerry but I'm looking at her picture she just 
she just looks so peaceful. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like wow. It's all yeah. It's it's really like you really have peace. That's right, yeah. doing her thing. So, Clever, tell us um, any chance of us seeing you on the East Coast in the next few months or weeks? Well, you know, anything is possible with God, so if that's Amen. the plan, I'll be there. Yeah, cause, you know, cause everything... I certainly don't want to say no. Yeah. Yeah, it's planned, but, you know, I, I, I would love to be able to come that way um, sooner rather than later. That's right. So does that mean, so if your brother's touring out this way, that does that mean that you'll be right, you'll be with him? You'll be coming along for the for the performance. Every now and then, he'll let me jump on the bandwagon. So I, I, it depends on what's going on and how much is happening. If he has space for an opening act, then he'll he'll pull me along. Yeah. So I, I hope hope that happens soon all right well we got we have to talk to his agent we know who she is so we're going to give her a buzz and find out when you guys are coming to the east coast because you know in between washington Baltimore, philly we're all good even virginia you know come on over here to the yes. Gold coast that's right yes that's right come on over just don't give them don't give them Everything over there on the West Coast. Give us some of it. Bring it over here. All right? I know. I, I know. We're going to make sure we get over there. That's right. Well, look, we appreciate you being here, Claretta. Um, so electrifying. So much So much personality. Yes. Can you please pray for our radio station? Pray for Elation Radio, Kimmy Kim, and pray for Jerry Voice Live. Could you do that for us, please? Absolutely. Right now, God, I thank you for this kingdom connection that you have allowed to come into all of our lives. I ask that you would anoint the work. I ask that you would strengthen the people. I ask that you would open the doors and make the ways for the sound and the the, the, the gifts to be released into the atmosphere, to the world, to the nations. I thank you for what you're going to do. I thank you that these gifts cannot be contained in one space, but you're going to open with heaven, pour out a blessing that they will not have room enough to receive. I thank you, Lord, that is going to be a sound release in the, in the world that cannot be copied because it's going to only happen right there where you, where you planted them in the Maryland area. And when you call the world to know them, that it will be a stamp of approval of heaven that nobody can take the credit for but you. In Jesus' name, I give you glory, honor, and praise. And it is so. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. All right. Well, we yes, hope that Lord. you guys will make your way over here, whether it's a stage play or a gospel concert. We would love to be part of that. So please Please have um, your people let us know when Claretta has Absolutely, on and I appreciate right. you guys, and thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. We're going to end the show on your song, God, We're Fussing Again. Thank you so much for the prayer, and thank you for your presence on Double XI Christian Radio, Positive Power. All right, everybody. It was an honor. We appreciate you guys. Sorry we didn't get a chance to talk about a lot of our sponsors because we got some phone calls mixed up early in the show. Do us a little behind, but um, again, shout out to our sponsors, Total Life Changes with um, with Danette Watson, Wealth Dad System with uh, Mr. James Deshea, and all the ladies who got events coming up. We'll make sure we make up for that on Wednesday night. All right. So, again, this is Jerry Woods Live Worldwide and Nation Radio CEO, Kimmy Kim. We out of here. Peace. It extends to me every day. Brand new mercies I see when I wake. With my eyes on the sun, I will stand and proclaim that darkness soon will fade. In times of trouble, you are my head. You are God with us, God with us. I call you Jesus, Emmanuel. You are God with us, God with us. All together, your grace, it extends to me every day. Brand new mercy, I see. When I wake With my eyes On the sun I will 
Hey, bro, that's the end of our podcast. We appreciate everybody tuning in, and please share this file. You can catch us out on Kadem Radio at one o'clock tonight. And also, um, don't forget, y'all, we got the Blackout Live concert coming here to Positive Power Double Side to my studio. Uh, the first one up is going to be Shay Samuels. We're going to be we we excited about that. Uh, we're not sure if it's going to be live yet, but we'll let you guys know. We're going to be doing a multiple taping, filming, you name it. So we're looking forward to this. You're talking about Blackout Live mini concert series coming to Positive Power Double XI. So if you're an artist that's in the area and, you, and you're familiar with our content, we've had you on the show. We built relationship with you. Please get in contact with us real soon so we can um, bring you to the studio. I'm Jerry Woods Live Worldwide, the WXI Christian Radio. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double XI. Positive Power 21.org Internet Radio. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast.